infrastructure forms the backbone of civilization. Already, the earliest settlements built and relied on infrastructures such as waterways, bridges, roads, and housing, some of which exist even today. With a growing global population and an ever so interconnected world, the need to maintain, repair, and build new infrastructure is growing rapidly. In fact, in the next 30 years, we will need to build more infrastructure than we did in the past 150 years. This growing need for infrastructure is a great chance to rethink its purpose and to learn from mistakes made in the past. Infrastructure like railways, ports, roads, schools, hospitals, energy, water, and waste management systems provide people with the services they need to live safe and happy lives. They are the building blocks for economic opportunities, access to health, education, and the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. But the development of conventional infrastructure has come at enormous environmental costs, and in some cases, has also deepened social inequalities. Did you know that 70% of global greenhouse gas emissions are caused by infrastructure? We humans have now poured enough concrete to encase the entire globe in a shell two millimeters thick. Our activities have led to the extinction of at least one in five species in only the last 100 years. We have produced enough greenhouse gas emissions to threaten our very existence. To achieve the sustainable development goals, we will need to build about $33 trillion of infrastructure in the next decade, and we are missing roughly one-third of this. How can we use the resources available to build the infrastructure we need for the future, whilst helping our planet to recover from the past? The answer is by investing in sustainable and resilient infrastructure. Sustainable and resilient infrastructure works with nature rather than against it restores biodiversity rather than destroying it, sequesters carbon rather than emitting it, regenerates and reuses precious resources rather than consuming them, offers inclusive opportunities to correct inequalities, protects against future risks rather than locking in vulnerability. By making infrastructure sustainable and resilient, we can reduce project risks, reduce operational, capital, and insurance costs, and increase revenues, making infrastructure assets more attractive to new investors. At GIB, we strive to promote this by spearheading impactful programs for change, by supporting investors, project developers, and cities to plan, finance, and build better infrastructure, and through our pioneering SURE standard for sustainable and resilient infrastructure. Want to know more? Contact us to find out how we can help you drive the transition to sustainable and resilient infrastructure.